Behind every strong woman is a dog following her to the bathroom. Ooh, we family, I'm back again. You know who I am. Let me introduce myself to the new audience, to the newcomers, huh? Did you hear me? Greetings, greetings, welcome. I'm Drummer Boy 1980. Hope you're having a good day, fam. If not, you know the old adage. Ask yourself why. And remember, happiness is an inside job and it will always be an internal affair. Family, you seen the thumbnail, right? We got some things to talk about. I know some people going to be upset, but you know my old saying, ask me, do I care about that? I don't care about that. I care about change. I care about the results. But let's jump into this reaction. All right, let's go. Yeah, 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 motherfucking 336 money in the motherfucking building, bitch, from Greensboro, North Carolina, yeah. fucking line. Yeah. Little body, but I'm big, dog, big, fresh, I'm here to step in. Let me go ahead and tell you real quick, turn yeah. the camera this way, these hoes is in my motherfucking... They ain't talking about nothing, nothing, nothing. So when you hear her ask about pink, period, so, hey, check in with me when y'all hoes come through the door. What y'all hoes doing, ho? Going out this way, Pink. Put your ass through that. Vote Trump is in the middle. 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 Vote Trump is
I'm just asking for a friend. I'm just throwing on a friend, huh? Huh? What would cause a woman something that's supposed to be soft, something that's supposed to be demure, classy, and sophisticated, well-spoken, to be this reckless with the lips, so loose-lipped, the mouth got diarrhea, as though they took x lax or something? What would cause all of this, guys? What would cause a woman to call herself a female dog and wear it proudly? Did you hear me? I know I'm stepping on some toes, but it'll be okay. I'm the foot doctor too, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm just asking questions. I'm just asking y'all. Put it in the comment section because I would like to know from y'all perspective. Put it in the comment section, guys. Now, out of all of these things that you've seen, that you viewed on the screen, right? What type of man that you think that these women are going to attract? God to it. What type of man you think these loose lips $2 salads, uncouth hood rats, swearing every word, using prophetic obscenities. I guarantee you, they'll jump on you. All this, what type of guy you think that they gonna attract? I'm just asking for a friend. I'm just asking, guys. Now, I have came to the conclusion that women like this hate themselves. That's what I have came to the conclusion of. Because what's wrong with your hair? Now, I see if you have some type of medical condition or something like you have to put in weave or you have to put on a wig. That's a different conversation. But a lot of women have long flowing hair. They cut it. They ruin their hair by putting all these chemicals and all this heat to it, messing up the hair, trying to alter their look. And when they alter it, it alter for the worse. That's what we're trying to tell you. Men did not ask for women to walk around with a bunch of weave, a bunch of wigs on bunch of extensions, a face full of makeup, tattoos all over your body. Nobody didn't ask for that. I don't know one man that I have talked to that tells me, well, I want a woman with weed, a face full of makeup, fake eyelashes, out of shape, nasty mouth, in shape, nasty mouth, because the shape really don't make no difference whenever you open up your mouth. Your attitude cancels out everything else. It overshadows the good by a mile. Did you hear me? Guys, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and click it. Because I'm on my soapbox, all right? I'm going to keep it going. Not one guy that I know have asked for this. Are there some men that like stuff like that? Yes. But the overwhelming majority, I can guarantee you this without a shadow of a doubt, without any inclination, that men don't want this. Now, the guys that can't get a better woman, oh God, am I going there? You best believe it. The guys that can't get other type of women have to settle for this type of woman. Oh, did he say settle? Settle. Because you often hear women say that they settling for a man. Oh, but this is a two-way street here now. A man can settle for a woman as well. Oh my God. I see my numbers dropping. I see my numbers dropping. I'm going to talk about it anyway. You heard me. A guy can settle for a woman as well. And I'm not going to make no bones about it. I'm not meant some words. What tends to happen, the guys that can't get nothing better don't have a choice. The guys that can't get no better have to get a plus size woman. Are they some guys that like plus size? Yes. But a guy with money, mm. most of the time, that's not his preferred option. And we know it. So let's stop acting like kids and let's be adults here. You know that. When have you ever seen a big woman riding around up in a Ferrari? First of all, she can't fit. I'm not saying that to be disparaging. What I'm saying is reality. You don't qualify for that. You heard me. Let me just say this to contextualize everything. Now, whenever a woman get older and you married to a woman or something, she might put on a few pounds. Now, we all know that. But still, I want you in shape as much as possible. I don't want no excuses. I want results. Now, with that being said, now you got a woman and she in her 20s. And she overweight and out of shape. What's the excuse? My thyroid. Ain't nothing wrong with your thyroid. Hush. It's simple math. Stop eating so much. Stop eating pig feet and ribs and all kind of stuff. Get some baked chicken and some turkey or something. Some rabbit food or something like that. Some carrots. Fruit and vegetables. But instead, you want to eat ham hocks and fried chicken with tater tots and smothered chicken and gravy and macaroni and mm, turnips and collard greens good lord i got peas greens potatoes tomatoes now nah, let me stop messing with y'all <laughs> but you get my drift right 
and try to turn around and try to blame it on you. Well, you should take me as I am. No, I shouldn't. I'm not God. I ain't Jesus Christ. I don't have to take you as you are. I want you the way I want you. And God is not going to take you the way you are either. If you want to be truthful about it, he say, come as you are. He didn't say that he was going to take you. He say, come as you are. And whenever you come, some changes are going to have to be made. God told me. So what I'm saying is this, guys, is that women have to realize this is not the bee's knees, ladies. They call this a bad bee contest from the name alone, guys. Who does this? And if you get caught up with any type of women like this, guys, I'm going to blame you. I'm not going to blame the women because you see this coming in the door. This is not hid. You can hear it through a speech. You can see it through her actions because you can't hide this, guys, right? So, with that being said, I'm going to turn off my microphone, all right? Hit that subscribe button. Come on back to see me, all right? Hit the like button, family, because I do want to get into the algorithm. I do, I do, I do. Hit the share button. Share the message. Hit the cash out, family. Donate to my channel. Also, I have a thanks option under the video. You can click that and donate as well. I appreciate it in advance, all right? And like I always tell you, you know the saying. I thank you. Ten folds over. I appreciate it. Come back to see me. Because there is more. Peace.